These seven GitHub repositories will get you hired. If you're learning to code and trying to crack that software engineering job, let me put you on. Today, I'm going to share with you these repositories that cover the three essential topics to get hired. Learning how to code and building good quality coding projects, preparing for the interview and the job itself, and finally finding every single job opening out there. For every single repository, I'll give you a brief overview, how you can navigate it, and how I would use it to maximize the resource. So let's get started. First of all, these three repositories are absolutely perfect if you're trying to learn how to code. They cover all fundamentals and have tutorials for every single skill level, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or a pro. And the best part is they have these coding project tutorials that are actually good enough to land you that job. Before you start anything, you absolutely have to have a solid understanding of the roadmap you're going to take. Whether it's a front-end developer, a back-end developer, a data analyst, or an AI engineer, all the skills you need differ drastically. So this first repository provides a visual roadmap for becoming a developer. No matter what job you're interested in, this guide outlines every single skill you need to learn and how you can learn it to actually land that job. The repository features these diagrams that map out the learning paths for different developer roles. Each diagram includes core technologies, tools, and concepts you should learn along with links to resources for each topic. To start, identify the roadmap that aligns with your career goals. Follow the suggested learning paths and start with some foundational knowledge and beginner tutorials and then progress to more advanced topics. If you use all the provided resources, you'll deepen your knowledge in the skills that are required to actually land the job that you're looking for. This next repository is called Project-Based Learning. It's a comprehensive collection of tutorials that guide you through building real-world projects. It's absolutely perfect for anyone who wants to learn how to code or get better at coding because the only way you'll ever do that is through practice, practice, and more practice. You'll find projects in various different languages like Python, JavaScript, and Go, for example. Each project includes detailed instructions, resources, and even tutorials to help you get started. When you first enter the repository, you'll find a well-organized list of projects sorted by technology and domain. Click on a project that interests you to access the detailed tutorial. To get the most out of this repository, pick a project that aligns with your career goals or interests. Follow the tutorial, complete the projects, and then add it to your portfolio. This hands-on approach will ensure you're developing all of the necessary skills. Now, have you ever wanted to build your own database, operating system, or even a blockchain? This repository called Build Your Own X provides you with all of these tutorials and more. By working through some of these projects, not only are they actually interesting to build, but you'll gain a deep understanding of what goes under the hood. The repository itself is organized into categories like databases, interpreters, and operating systems. And each one of these categories contains links to specific projects. Click on a project to find a list of resources and tutorials. To get the most out of this, choose a project that not only challenges you, but also aligns with your career. Then follow the guides and build these out to put on your resume. This experience will deepen your technical knowledge and give you these valuable coding projects you could showcase in your technical interviews. Now that you have the foundations down skill-wise, we need to make sure that you're actually good enough for interviews and the job itself, because what's the point of learning all these coding projects if you can't actually get hired? This brings us to Coding Interview University. This repository is a comprehensive study plan for becoming a software engineer. It's packed with resources like links to tutorials, coding problems, and algorithms you'll find in your technical interviews. If you're serious about acing your coding interviews, you guys absolutely have to use this repository. Start at the beginning and work your way through the topics which include computer science fundamentals, coding challenges, and advanced algorithms. Each section includes links to resources and some practice problems. Spend time understanding each topic and then solving the associated problems. While doing this, regularly practice for your technical interviews on platforms like LeetCode, NeatCode, or HackerRank. This systematic approach guarantees you're prepared enough for your coding interviews. System design interviews can be very daunting, but this repository breaks down everything into small, understandable chunks. It covers everything from designing scalable systems to handling large amounts of data. By mastering all this material, you're guaranteeing that you're actually prepared for these system design interviews, which is actually crucial for all the big tech roles. The repository itself includes a comprehensive guide that starts with the basics of system design and progresses to more advanced topics. You'll find diagrams, explanations, and even links to further reading, which I highly recommend you guys check out. Study the concepts and try to understand all the design decisions that went into building each system. How to actually practice, you could do the mock interviews or do the practice problems in the repository. 
This way, you'll actually be able to properly articulate your design decisions in the technical interviews. All right, now last but not least, you need to actually find the jobs to apply to. So let me put you on to my two favorite resources. If you're a student like me or a recent graduate, landing an internship can be the perfect stepping stone to getting that dream job. This repository lists every single upcoming internship for summer 2025, including necessary details and links to actually go ahead and apply. The repository is organized as a table with columns for company names, locations, links to application pages, and deadlines. If you're looking for an internship, I highly recommend you regularly check this repository. The best part is they also have this website here, which will notify you daily or weekly in your own email inbox with every single new job opening. That way, you know you're one of the first candidates to apply for the job, which drastically increases your chances of getting hired. Finally, if you're fed up and tired of these generic code style interview questions and you want to do something different, this is perfect for you. This repository lists companies that do not do the generic whiteboard interviews and asks you some more relevant questions instead. It's categorized by country and includes links to job postings or company career pages. Browse the list to find companies that match your location and job preferences. Now you can apply to the positions that interest you and you can prepare in a normal coding way instead of grinding out lead code, which is really hard to do. And there you have it, seven GitHub repositories that will not only increase your skills, but they will drastically increase your chances of getting hired. Whether you're learning new coding technologies, preparing for an interview, or just seeking guidance, these resources have everything covered for you. Make sure to check them out so you can start working towards your dream job today. If you found this video helpful, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. I'll make sure to leave every single one of these links in the description of this video. If you want more coding resources, one-on-one -on -one mentorship, or resume reviews, I highly recommend you also check out my community in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.